And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 remastered version of Cyberpunk 2077. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. You're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Get what? the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack- Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. 
But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. But better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. But was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie, by name. You would've liked him, actually. Jackie? Remember that. We have arrived. it so much maybe we should just hijack the train let the basilisk go on its way yeah then just drive this beast to the 101 there and back Saul would be on board with that are we ready okay the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer we will stop it at the railroad crossing all we have to do is shove this beauty in its way V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free? Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once? Perhaps more simple.
What cards? Oblong cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards Not here. first. Nothing here. Not a... Not a... Okay, it must be here somewhere. Hey, look thoroughly, hmm. please. Well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But... is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Hmm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. 
Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, could end up like... Like the backers. Mm -hmm. We'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. No, it's blocked! We need a new 
Train's leaving. You better move. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting to mention Teddy. someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! And now! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny? You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look... different. <laughs> Try hey, again. Hey, Rogue. Ready? Maybe you'll find some charm the third time you. around. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? He'll join us later. See you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Dragons went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a day. Thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there. From your music. So it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up our Osaka HQ. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning. Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Johnny Silverhand. Apparently you're a positive influence on him. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. All right. Do your thing. 
I'll watch. Okay. Gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Well done. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some sleep. Sure thing. Exactly where I was supposed to take her 50 odd years ago. Right, let's go check the projector. Entrance is over here. No, oh, interesting. Bushido Ten. Fi okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. <laughs> Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. this evening going always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie never imagined they'd change this much let's pretend it's 2015 huh we just met and I got no idea what a bastard you are but I like 2077 Rose. A far inferior version. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I'd get Smasher before he got me. And maybe plant more charges in that tower. So you'd do the exact same thing, just better. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing. It's just... Had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. All that counts is I'm back. With you. Think that's way better than any what if. But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body, but I'm here.
Johnny, I can't. It's not right. Mean it not fair to V? Not fair to you. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. Get back on my own. Rogue! Fuck. Rogue's gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. It was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Gotta mull it over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper.
this ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs. Look around. Critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first. We gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Guess who? Huh? Can't hear ya. Come back later, maybe? Nah, come on. We're lucky the dogs even home.
fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Feels so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable. We lost everything. Keep playing. All right. Johnny? Carrie? No. <laughs> no. no That's some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? I told you to stop being a pussy. Did you? Huh? Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Oh. Motherfucker! Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Not looking all bad yourself, either. Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You like her? The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life? Well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? You want to bring Samurai back? I 
I don't know. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Mm. I'm not there. Figure it out with V. Sure. Uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. Okay. Call in Nancy. Fuck yeah. Nice. Alrighty. That looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.